everyone this is Aten I'm back with another video today let us see what is the attestation document and how to fill this document and why it is important for the travelers who are traveling starting November 8th but before that let us see a quick recap on the new travel policy as we have already shared a detailed version on what is there in the new travel policy which was announced on October 25th later the CDC updated the new travel policy on October 30th in the exception criteria for the children who are not eligible to get vaccinated and with the current situation I think many people might have already booked your flights tickets and waiting to travel as we are nearing November 8th and as of now most of the airlines have already updated the new travel policy policy for the people who are traveling to US and if you have not noticed or not gone through the airlines website uh, related to the new travel guidelines please do go and check what are the travel guidelines or restrictions uh, that they have mentioned in the airlines website because sometimes uh, different airlines handle this new travel guidelines in a different way and uh, to confirm it you can also call the airlines and ask for what are the documents required before boarding and this will give a confidence that you are ready to travel and all the documents are ready in your hand and if you are not able to find this attestation document in the airlines website where you have booked your tickets you can also download this document from cdc.gov website and uh, make sure to download the latest attestation document because um, there are other attestation document uh, in the same website our viewers i will drop the link in description you can directly click that link and download the latest attestation form let me share my screen now for how the attestation document look like and how you have to fill it so this is the cdc.gov website and uh, if you scroll down you will be able to see the old attestation document and this document has been replaced by the new amendment order and with the new attestation document here you will be able to find two attestation document one is the document which you will not be able to fill digitally but the second one is a fillable attestation document both are actually similar just that the difference will be that this document you will be able to fill digitally and moreover you will find a logo of cdc but this document if you click this you will not be able to edit this document so we are going for the option which, which has a option to edit digitally so now i'm going to download this after you click this you will be able to find the document where you should download this document on left you'll be able to see a logo and the expiration date which is uh, having the validity till next year may and uh, they have given uh, introduction to para they have highlighted that you should be able to provide the proof of negative rt pcr test and uh, if you have tested positive for covid then you should be able to provide a recovery from covid 19 in this para they have given that this is under united uh, states federal law each passenger must complete the applicable portion of the attestation and provide it to airline which means all the airlines will collect the attestation form from all the passengers and failure to complete and to present the applicable portion of the attestation or submitting the false or misleading information could result in delay of travel or denial of boarding denial of boarding on future travel or put the passenger or other individual at risk including serious uh, bodily injury or death and basically this uh, information is to show how important uh, this attestation form is if you come down they have given that airline and aircraft operator disclosure requirement and this attestation document is required by the united states federal law all passenger or other aircraft operators must collect the passenger attestation on behalf of u.s government means all the airlines will collect this attestation on behalf of u.s government as we come down they have again highlighted the negative rt pcr test that you are going to provide before boarding and uh, if you have tested positive of course you should be able to provide the proof uh, for the recovery from COVID-19. So now let's see how to fill this attestation form and this attestation form has two sections one is for fully vaccinated individual and the second section is for the individual who are not fully vaccinated but traveling under the exception criteria. So when it comes to section one this section should be filled by all the passengers and this section has five options where you will read it completely and you will choose one option which is applicable for you to give an overall picture of uh, what options you have to choose so option one if you are fully vaccinated and received a negative test results uh, taken three days prior to your departure and you will choose option two if you are not fully vaccinated and you have taken the negative test one day prior to your departure and you will choose option three 
if you have recovered from covid and you have the proof of the recovery you choose option 4 if you are traveling with a kid who is below 18 years of age and finally you will choose option 5 if you fall under the humanitarian or emergency exception when it comes to section 2 This is basically for the individual who are traveling under the exception criteria, but still they have given an option for fully vaccinated as well. So if you are fully vaccinated, then make sure to choose this option. And if you fall under the not fully vaccinated criteria, which means you are traveling under the exception, then you should be traveling under one of these exception criteria which has been mentioned here. So please read it completely and choose whichever is applicable to you based on the options you choose over here you will be filling the next section if you fall under either of these two category which means a child under 18 years of age or participant in certain covid-19 vaccine trials then you can directly go and fill the section 4 you need not fill the section 3 okay so in section 4 you are basically agreeing to be tested with the covid-19 viral test 3 to 5 days after arriving in us and also you are agreeing to self isolate if the test is positive and uh, this option can be selected by the parent who are traveling with the kid make sure to agree these two quarantine rules if you are not falling under either of these two exception criteria then you have to fill section 3 and section 5 and by filling this section 3 you must check all the boxes over here wherein you are agreeing to take the covid test within 3 to 5 days after arriving in united states and you are also agreeing to self quarantine for full 7 days even if the test result is negative post arrival and you are also agreeing to self isolate if the test result is positive after arrival you will fill the section 5 only if you are planning to stay in united states more than 60 days and by choosing this yes you are agreeing to get vaccinated within 60 days and you are agreeing that required arrangements to get vaccinated within 60 days and after this process then you can just fill the name but make sure that you fill the name which is matching with your passport and then sign over here uh, give the date when you are filling this document the point to be noted over here is this option is not applicable for india because this is basically for non immigrant visa holders in the country which is having less percentage of vaccination which means uh, below 10% of vaccine availability so this is not applicable for india so you can ignore this uh, option on the other side uh, there is another scenario for example the parent who are traveling with the kid who is unvaccinated the parent can fill this attestation form so in that scenario you should choose on behalf of and you should give the name of your kid over here and the same applies to an adult person who is not able to fill this attestation form so once you are uh, done with the uh, choosing the options make sure to check uh, twice because uh, this information is very much uh, important and it should not be uh, uh, irrelevant information or false information so once you are done then you can fill the name over here and make sure that you give your name as it is mentioned in the passport and you can uh, give your sign and fill the date when you are filling this document hope this information gave you an idea about uh, the attestation document and how to fill this uh, document but this information is uh, just from the new travel policy and we will get to know more about uh, this attestation document and uh, how the airlines is handling the document verification starting november 8th and we will share the real time experiences from the travelers maybe by november 8th or by november 9th for that stay tuned with purna arti vlog for more and more updates on embassy immigration travel and vlogs stay healthy stay safe take care bye bye